Hey, what's up guys? Chris Crystal here. I uh, just wanted to reiterate a few things that Charlie has been saying. Um, I haven't really been on YouTube for the last six months, like here and there, but um, going through his old videos and the potassium iodide thing is you need a higher dosage. Um, he was talking about things like borax, borax, potassium iodide. I've taken, I've been taking potassium iodide for a little while, but it's a low dose. Um, I think it's like six milligrams uh, or four milligrams. I don't know. They're 12 and a half milligram capsules in there. It's like a blend, but Charlie, you were talking about taking something on the order of like 250 milligrams or a half a 500 milligrams, which is a half a gram of potassium iodide crystal mixed into a little bit of water, making a saturated solution. I might... Charlie, you're a fucking genius, man. Um, I might sound like I'm ripping your your ideas off or whatever, but more people need to hear about this shit. <coughs> and as a, for my language, I apologize for all you good people in the Midwest. Um, borax. Um, I took I took a borax bath the other day. Uh, the day before that, I took an Epsom salt bath. I put about three or four cups into the, the bathtub, and it sat there for at least a good half hour, but um, it, it was weird. Like I, I felt so much better after the Epsom salt bath, but I was trying to fall asleep that night, and I, I kept getting the... I kept getting the physical symptoms, the jolts, the electric... Zzz, fucking... Um, I know I swear a lot, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, um, but yeah, this was, uh, somehow I got a cut. I'm pulling my hand, I'm not hitting anything. Or <laughs> um, the borax, I've, I've tried, I tried about an eighth of a teaspoon in water. You can't even taste it, it's fine. It's, at the very least, it's probably, I don't know, not, let me rephrase that, it's, it is in fact nutritive. It does, it's beneficial to your health in a number of different ways. I haven't researched it much, but I know it's good for your bones. Charlie was saying it pulls chloride out of your bones. Chloride is, I don't know if it's an iodine blocker, but it's, I don't know, it's similar to chlorine, I would say. I don't know, fucking, who knows? Who knows? Um, I really wish I had a better understanding of chemistry than I do. Um, but potassium iodide... Um, colloidal silver, I don't know too much about. I've just been hearing a lot of different things from people who have left comments in Charlie's videos. And they, Charlie was talking about bentonite clay. And at one point, um, I saw a video that Garuchula Joe had done uh, protection from electronic harassment symptoms and all that. I know, Joe, that you had one of the things you had among your little arsenal was bentonite clay. And it's, I think that was maybe, I don't know, somebody left a comment, Joe, about how they, <laughs> there's something that they cannot fucking get. It's illegal for public sale in Australia. Uh, I think it was borax. I'm not sure, though. Uh, but yeah, um, bentonite clay as a way of pulling it all out of you. Um, borax. I haven't... I haven't been dedicated to it. I need to start taking an Epsom salt bath every day, washing my clothes with borax, stop using detergent because all that shit is just integral in how this stuff works. Um, Epsom salt, potassium iodide, I still need to get some of that. I've been <laughs> I've been doubling up on my my iodine supplements that I have, but they're I mean they're twelve and a half, twenty five milligrams, they say Oh, you can't have any more than 30 milligrams of iodine per day. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. I think you can, hey, the body can handle a little more iodine than 30 milligrams a day. Um, I mean, look at fucking calories and shit. Like, I mean, there's really no fucking way to count calories or, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with that. I just, I just wanted to make this video, um, yeah, well, I, I do know what I wanted to, how I wanted to correlate those two ideas, but it's, it's almost a fucking pseudoscience. Like I don't know, they, 
not a pseudoscience, but what they say in terms of like your recommended daily intake for like vitamin C, all these kinds of things, I don't think that the numbers that they tell people are on the level. I think, I don't know. We gotta admit that the world is getting overpopulated. Resources are getting stretched very thin and it wouldn't be hard to imagine something like this happening nowadays. Um, the palm olive antibacterial dish soap, there's something about that. I've used that a few times and I don't know, there's something, it just feels like it removes something off of the skin. Uh, there's something about the antibacterial palm olive dish soap, Charlie was saying it has L-lactic acid in it, that there's something about it that dries up this biofilm and takes it, it's, it makes it easier to get it off of you. Uh, you want to also, you want to stay the, stay the hell away from refined sugars. Um, Charlie, I'm sorry, man. I don't mean to piss you off or anything, but I just, you're a fucking genius. Okay, look out for Charlie. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm a little caffeine. It's got my ass right now. <laughs> um, but yeah. There's a refined sugar is a catalyst for the candida virus. It's... There's something about refined sugar that just sets it off. I don't know. It, it, it in fact behaves differently than high fructose corn syrup or the type of sugar you find in honey. Um, well, maybe not the type of sugar that's in honey. I just know that regular sugar will replenish your muscle glycogen and honey sugar will replace your liver glycogen. All these different kinds of sugars behave differently. Well, high fructose corn syrup isn't doesn't react the same with the candida virus and it's not so much of a catalyt catalytic catalyst catalytic event eventicle uh, but yeah, so there's something about refined sugar that um, is causing a problem with, in respect to the candida virus um, potassium aspartate I don't know too much about magnesium I think uh, there's a lot of different forms of magnesium and potassium, like potassium oxide, any kind of magnesium oxide, that shit's all garbage. You want like chelated, chelated or chelated, I don't know, potassium aspartate, I don't know too much about that. I know that there's a relationship between potassium and cortisol in the early morning, I don't know, for example, <laughs> it's cortisol, potassium, and there, there's a correlation between the two of them and salt, your salt intake, yeah, particularly at the beginning of the day, I don't know, but I, I have a good feeling about potassium aspartate being helpful in treating the symptoms of electronic harassment because, you, like I said, your potassium levels and your cortisol or your stress hormone have a direct correlation in respects to consuming a little bit of salt at the beginning of the day, I guess, um, consuming a little salt will reduce your cortisol levels and increase your potassium levels, which is good, which the, basically the end result is a, a good reduction in stress, um, a good reduction in stress, and I have noticed this to be true, it's not like it's not like a narcotic effect or whatever. It's just something you notice, like, ah, oh, okay. And uh, colloidal silver, I don't know too much about that. Mason iodine. I've heard a lot of people throw these these compounds around in conversation. And I'm, I'm going to do a little more research on it. I just wanted to reiterate what Charlie was saying because um, I don't find this very funny. I don't understand how you people like think you'd be sitting there laughing your asses off and it's like dude I'm staying in my own fucking corner like you're sitting up there worried about what the fuck I'm doing like talking about my fucking asshole all day fuck you dude <laughs> worried about my asshole dude. Like, and that's what it is that's <clears throat> anyway like I was saying I don't find this very funny and um it's difficult sometimes and so Charlie I don't know man I, I'm not stealing what you said, I just want to repeat it. I know a lot. You've made these videos months and months ago, but dude, this has really helped me. Um, I don't know why I waited six months to start taking the nascent, the I'm sorry, the potassium iodide, but 
And I gave you guys, I gave you guys kind of some bad information in regards to the potassium iodide. Um, the <clears throat> you want a higher dose. Um, I've noticed that I've, I've started doubling up. Um, it was, it's like my, it was like my body got used to the amount of iodine that I was taking, and it was it diminished fucking ninety percent. Excuse my language. It diminished ninety percent within the first two three days, in the first one or two days, and then it. <laughs> I was still dealing with it like ten percent. That's fine. You know, that's you know, that's like a vacation from all this shit. But little by little, it all started coming back. And um, <clears throat> no, no, don't don't take that the wrong way. This these treatments are something that you need to dedicate yourself to. You need to do it for at least two, three, probably four months every day. Taking Epsom salt baths, washing your clothes with boron, taking uh, potassium iodide. And I guarantee you, this I haven't been I haven't been dedicated to it, and it's been hit and miss with the symptoms. Um, and I know there's something it's working, but there's something something's off. Like I need I need more potassium iodide. And um, anyway, I just I don't know. I've learned to have fun with this. Like I don't. <laughs> it's like maybe if I act scared, they'll leave me alone. Um, no, like. <laughs> There's no reason to be afraid of these people. Unless, I don't know, I'm a man, fucking, I don't get home invasions or... Gaslighting is very sporadic for me. I never really had a problem with that. And just generally, um, I don't know, people might, I don't know. After four years of dealing with this, the one thing I don't like about who I've become is... Um, it's very hard not to walk around with a chip on your shoulder. <laughs> And it's, um, and then at the same time, it's hard to find a middle ground with that. Oh yes, uh, you know, hold the door open. Yeah, no, <laughs> have a good day. Have a good day. No, it's hard to balance out the two because you have to be, <laughs> you have to be one part Bruce Willis, one part Three Stooges, and one part Gandhi, and that's fucking hard to do. Okay, um, it's just, mm, oh, there's there's really no reason to be afraid. That's what these people are feeding off of, is your fear. It's fear tactics, and it's all fucking smoke and mirrors, you guys. I'm sorry for the language, but I've been doing everything I can to better myself. I'm getting better every day. Um, <laughs> and it's like, for some, for whatever reason, it's like I applied to a job at Walmart, and these cocksuckers won't let me get a job at fucking Walmart, dude. So, um, I don't know. I'm still waiting on that. Still waiting to hear back from them. Oh God, I hope I get this job at Walmart. Um, yeah, there's really no reason to be afraid. You gotta have fun with it. And you gotta, you gotta learn to laugh. You gotta be one smiling motherfucker. Um, and there was another thing that Charlie was saying about. It. A lot of times I'll get comments on my videos, and it's like, it's like, um, please help. I can't illiterate need literacy it's like dude you need to take your time like it, it's it's very frustrating because i went through a phase where I, my communication skills were all fucked up mike i'm sorry i really need to swear a lot less my communication skills were all messed up and i it's very frustrating because i know these people are being tortured these people are going through hell every day for whatever reason, they haven't done anything wrong. They're healthy, normal people. A lot of them wear, have white collar jobs. And <laughs> that's, I think that's where these people are screwing up is because they're starting to target a lot of very intelligent people who won't put up with this shit. Um, but yeah, um, oh, there's this new video. <laughs> it's like a week old or something. There's this, this black guy with dreads. It was like TV, LBG TV, or some shit, I don't know. If, but he goes on, this black guy goes on for about three to five minutes, and then it, go, it cuts into this, like, this narrated, total, like, production quality fucking <laughs> clip. But it's like an hour long, and like, this is, there's like this southern gentleman, like, we need to take care of this problem right now. These undesirables, would you like to be a valuable part of your community? Dude, I fucking could, I couldn't stomach any more than like five minutes of this shit, dude. But, um, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, take your time, use that period, 
capitalize the first letter in the next sentence, you know, maybe throw a semicolon in there if you want to expound on an idea. Just basically just use the comma, you know, don't don't swear because people, that kind of turns people off when you start swearing. Um, and, I mean, like the all capitals, like put the, put your thoughts in lowercase, okay? Use your words, like we all understand it's very frustrating, yeah, it's living hell, but... <laughs> If you can communicate intelligently, like Charlie was saying, and show the layperson or the audience that you have the ability to communicate, you're not some fucking nutbag, you know, more people are going to be willing to listen to you. Um, I just find it hilarious because um, it's like I'm in my own corner. I've been dealing with this for four years. I've changed a lot about myself my attitude and I'm staying in my own corner not causing any fucking wrinkles dude and somehow these people want to still fuck with me um but it's hilarious dude it's hilarious like I get <laughs> I woke up this morning and I had like fucking <clears throat> took my buddy to work and as I'm driving through the parking lot dude I got like these little fucking like these dumpster diving ass bums like all like mean mugging me I don't know it could have been just fucking coincidence but there were like three or four of them like, <laughs> like mugging me and my buddy is I'm um, navigating around the apartment building around the side of the liquor store next door and it's like <laughs> what dude fucking um anyway i'm gonna get going you guys i don't really have much else to say other than you need to stay dedicated to you need to take about four or five cups of that epsom salt if you have it like that you fucking dump a whole bag in there dump a whole five ten pound bag in there but, I mean, you want to use at least three or four cups of Epsom salt every day for at least a couple of months. And, like, I need to start doing that. I'm going to start doing that. I think a lot of other TIs should as well. Um, if you close your mouth and open your ears, you might learn something. So, I don't... <laughs> at this point, I'm willing to try anything. And I think Charlie is a sound source for information. So... So yeah, um, do it every day, Epsom salt baths, at least three, four cups, the more the better. Um, stop using detergent for your clothes, use borax, I mean, if you're going to use detergent, that's fine, we all like fresh clothes, but I don't know, it, borax on your clothes, borax treatments in between the Epsom salt treatments, you know, sp I, would, I would space them out, it might be a little hard on the skin, I don't know, um, sodium Borate, I don't know, sodium dries you out a little bit, but I don't know. <clears throat> That's what borax is. Um, but yeah, it dries you out a little bit. Space them out. Potassium iodide. Get yourself some potassium iodide crystals online. Get about 50 grams for like 22 bucks. I don't know where Charlie got his from, but and start drinking alkaline water. Start drinking alkaline water. Stay the hell away from refined sugars. Because <clears throat> what I've found out at least about cancer or the candida but I don't know what people are calling it but is it <clears throat> it feeds in an acidic environment and I'm not sure about sugar but one thing I know about soda is it has a pH level of 2.8 which is extremely fucking acidic okay um, a neutral pH level is somewhere around 7 I guess but the more you want to drink alkaline water and it's expensive too. I'm in, <laughs> I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona. I don't know why I just said that, but um, Scottsdale, Arizona. And the, the the alkaline water that I get, it's like two dollars a gallon. But I feel a lot better drinking it. It's um, cancer survives in an acidic environment. So if you up your alkaline water, you can. I don't know. There's this place that I go. And the guy has like three grades. He's got like eight point five. 10 point something and like 12.1 or I don't know I get the I get the good good because there's so much acidic water in our everyday diet that we consume on a regular basis that we don't even think about like coffee I'm a fucking speed freak when it comes to coffee but um yeah I'll, I'll leave you guys with that um I hope this helps Charlie I'm just trying to emulate what you're saying brother because a lot more people need to listen to this Look out for Charlie. If you look out, okay, this guy's name is Look Out for Charlie. If you're new, it's L O O K F A. One word, L O O K O U T F A. 
Space Charlie. Look out for Charlie. It's he can explain it a lot better than I can. I'm just trying to emulate what you're saying, Charlie, because fucking repetition is good. Alright, you guys. Love you. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.